Hello and welcome back. I am so, this is my favorite segment. The entertainment segment is my favorite segment. I just love it. I grew up in entertainment and we have our entertainment correspondent, Francine Brokaw, here to tell us about what is new in movies and television. Well, and not yeah. exactly new, but something. Okay. You like animation? I love animation. And you like animation. I, you know I do. We're also geared towards Disney and Pixar, mm -hmm. but a lot of people haven't heard of Studio Ghibli. It's Ghibli. a Japanese huge studio over there. Okay. okay. And they they make the most amazing animated films and well, they are I know them. You don't well see that's Nobody that's does, why I I'm guess, here because yes, a lot of people I know. don't realize. Can I show the can yes. I show some movies here? Uh, some of them uh, spirited away in, in 2002, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences decided that they were going to give a new category, which was the animation. Okay. So in 2003, Studio Ghibli won. Their animation was spirited away. That won for best animated film from the Academy Awards. That's so is that the an only one that that's ever That's the only anime, that's the only anime film that's ever won. Wow. And it's from this studio. Okay. But I grew up watching a lot of anime. I love anime. Yes, but the studio is amazing and they, they started with, um, I'm gonna try not to mess up these words because I asked my friend from Japan how to pronounce them. Hayao Miyazaki, Iseo Takahata, and Toshio Suzuki. Those are the founders of the studio much mm -hmm. like Disney mm -hmm. was here. And um, their goal was to make original, give, give original animated shows, animated films with new artists to develop the, the form of anime to a top level, which mm -hmm. they have, mm -hmm. actually they have. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, this one, My Neighbor Totoro, the little animal called Totoro has become the logo for the studio. Oh, oh really? Wow. So he's the Mickey Mouse of Japan, you could say. Oh, yeah. Totoro. He, Totoro. Oh my goodness, now, this is so fun. That, 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 yeah, I have to say something. I haven't seen 100% of the movies, but I've seen about 90 of them. Uh -huh. Every one of them has an emotional aspect to it. Mm -hmm. Really? It, a lot of them are heart-wrenching, so they're, but they, they do have happy endings. The, this so they're one, animation, but they're not necessarily children's movies. They're not necessarily. That's a few of them are, but, but they, these are, shows that can definitely go for all Wow, well, and you know what, look at, I just noticed this. This, uh, the people in this movie are Tim Daly, Dakota Fanning, mm -hmm. Elle Fanning, and Leia Salonga. So there's a big Hollywood component to this movie. Originally, they're made in Japan with Japanese mm -hmm. actors. Uh -huh. A couple of years after they released there, they bring them over here with, and re -dub them they with American them. actors. Oh, and most of them are the ones that we know. Mm -hmm. The voices you will know. But they're American, very so we can understand them. And I'm glad they've done that because the shows are worth seeing. They're mm -hmm. very good. This one, the, the father brings the, um, the two daughters to the country mm -hmm. so the, from the city. They move to the country because the mother's in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So they want to be closer so they can uh, visit her. And that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of a sad aspect of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this little girl encounters this little furry mm -hmm. neighbor, Totoro, and they go on wild, magical adventures. Oh, and it's, it's great. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it engrosses all ages. The little girls are fun aspects, and they're, they're fun for the, for the young kids. But then you've got teenagers who will definitely enjoy them. That's really fun. It, and it's adults. It's such an art form. It's a major, it's an amazing yeah, art it's form a major art form. It needs to be exposed more. But mm -hmm. the thing is that these, the, the animation is beautiful. The scenery mm -hmm. on every single show wow. is drawn beautifully. Wow, it's just really amazing. Neat. And the, most people aren't aware of them. Mm -hmm. We're aware of Disney, we're aware mm -hmm. of Pixar, yeah. we're aware of Blue Sky. But Studio Ghibli, I think, deserves recognition and I think many people once they start with it they will want to continue watching the shows mm -hmm. absolutely How I think uh, I think they're beautiful, beautiful. they're beautifully they done beautiful. well thanks for bringing that to mm -hmm. us I, well, mean, I hope everybody I learns about so them special. I, I know. know it is it's neat but let's talk about this one. Okay. empty wine bottle on <laughs> yeah, empty wine, wine bottle, bottle. <laughs> And I didn't think it? at all. Tell us about your empty wine bottle. Friend. Okay, that's right. Turner Classic Movies, okay. Channel 468 or 68 here, uh -huh. in, uh, 468 for the high definition, is Turner Classic Movies. Okay. okay. They have a wine club that you belong to. You can go online and or call in, belong to, and you get two wines 
per per case per month. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they're pairing wine and they're movies. Pair, no, they're well, they they are pairing wine. They've also um, partnership with the Francis Ford Coppola Wine mm -hmm. Winery in, in mm -hmm. Northern California. Oh, that's so nice. they do get a lot of that. But they select um, you. You can select reds or whites or a mixture, whatever ones you want to get. And you can change them all the time. Mm -hmm. They're very, very accommodating. And with the introductory, you get a Coppola wine bonus. Mm. Oh, how nice. Mm -hmm. But the fun part about this is they do pair the wine with a movie. Wow. That is really So fun. It, last November, they had rear window with paired with a Chilean Merlot. Mm. They thought that would go well. That with is it. fun. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, in November 23rd, they had Life with Father paired with a California Pinot Grigio. I love it. My dad always drinks Pinot Grigio, so I guess it's a dad wine, uh, so see. like with father. <laughs> but but, but not Grigio. only that, they give you history of the wines, the winery, they go mm -hmm. all around. The, they, you get the history of the wines, you get the history of the wineries, and when they pair them, you can learn about the, the, the um, shows, the movies, mm -hmm. and TCM does something that most movie channels do, don't do. They have their hosts that come on and discuss the mm -hmm. movies prior. I love that. I think that's really fun because yeah. you understand so much more and you appreciate the vision yes. that sometimes, you know, if we're not very you know, really into the movie or if we're not very well educated mm -hmm. about film, I'm not, I need to be better educated Oh, about I love film. listening. Ben Mankiewicz and now is doing yeah, a lot of that. It's really cool. And so while he's uh, giving his little spiel about what's coming up, you can uncork your wine and pour a glass <laughs> and just sit back and enjoy the movie. I love that. Oh, I think they go wonderful. hand in hand. They and for do. me, I would I would pop some popcorn to go with that wine. Absolutely. And Absolutely. And totally I'd make chocolate chip cookies. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, just yes, tcmwineclub.com right. for all yes, the information. Thank you. Thank you. And that's a, a good way to enjoy television and the other one is a good way to enjoy movies. Uh, Absolutely. You always bring us such interesting I know. Things. Something <laughs> different. <laughs> things that I haven't <laughs> really thought you. of doing before. Thank you so much, Francine. You're welcome. It's fun. And we will be right back.